Thinking, Fast and Slow is a groundbreaking book by Daniel Kahneman, a Nobel laureate in economics, which explores the two fundamental modes of human thinking, System 1 and System 2. Here's a detailed review and summary, along with lessons from the book. Summary, Kahneman presents the idea that our thinking operates on two systems. System 1, this is fast, intuitive, and automatic thinking. It's the part of our brain that makes quick judgments and decisions based on heuristics and instincts. System 1 thinking is prone to biases and often operates without conscious awareness. System 2, this is slow, deliberate, and analytical thinking. It's the part of our brain that engages in critical thinking, problem solving, and rational decision making. System 2 requires effort and conscious thought. Kahneman delves into various cognitive biases and heuristics that affect our decision making. Some of these include confirmation bias, availability heuristic, anchoring, and loss aversion. He also discusses the concept of prospect theory, which explains how individuals evaluate potential gains and losses. The book provides valuable insights into behavioral economics, which challenges the traditional economic assumption that humans are always rational. Kahneman's research has practical applications in fields such as finance, marketing, and public policy. Thinking, fast and slow is an intellectual tour de force. Kahneman presents complex psychological concepts with remarkable clarity, making them accessible to both experts and general readers. His exploration of the interplay between System 1 and System 2 thinking sheds light on the systematic errors we make in our daily lives. The book is not just an academic exercise but offers practical lessons for improving decision-making. It encourages readers to recognize the limitations of their thinking processes and to adopt strategies to mitigate cognitive biases. By understanding the pitfalls of System 1 thinking, individuals can become more adept at engaging System 2 thinking when needed. The real-world examples and experiments presented in the book are engaging and thought-provoking. Readers are likely to gain a new perspective on their decision-making processes and become more attuned to the subtle cognitive traps that influence their choices. Chapter 1, The Characters of the Story In this introductory chapter, Kahneman sets the stage for the book's exploration of thinking processes. He introduces the concept of two systems of thinking, System 1, fast and intuitive, and System 2, slow and analytical. Key Lesson Understanding the distinction between these two systems is fundamental to comprehending how we think and make decisions. Chapter 2, Attention and Effort. Kahneman discusses the limitations of System 2 thinking, which requires effort and attention. He explains that the human mind has a limited capacity for effortful cognitive tasks. Key lesson, recognize that thinking critically and analytically requires mental energy, and be mindful of when and where to allocate this energy. Chapter 3, The Lazy Controller. This chapter explores how System 2, which should be the controller of our thoughts, often defers to the automatic and effortless System 1. Kahneman introduces the concept of cognitive ease and cognitive strain. Key lesson, be aware of when your mind defaults to the effortless System 1 thinking, which can lead to cognitive biases, and when it's necessary to engage System 2 deliberately. Chapter 4, The Associative Machine. Kahneman delves into the workings of System 1, emphasizing its associative nature. He explains how this system forms judgments and decisions based on patterns and associations. Key lesson, System 1 thinking is essential for quick decision making, but it can also lead to biases, so understanding its associative nature is vital. Chapter 5, Cognitive Ease. In this chapter, Kahneman discusses the idea that we tend to favor information that is easily accessible and processed, often at the expense of accuracy. Key lesson, Cognitive Ease can lead to overconfidence and neglect of crucial information. Be wary of making decisions solely based on the ease of processing information. Chapter 6, Norms, Surprises, and Causes. Kahneman explores how System 1 often relies on norms and stereotypes to make quick judgments. He also discusses how people perceive and react to surprises and causal relationships. Key lesson, recognize that our minds frequently make assumptions based on existing norms and expectations, which can lead to errors in judgment. Chapter 7, A Machine for Jumping to Conclusions. Kahneman examines how our minds tend to jump to conclusions swiftly, often based on limited information. He introduces the concept of why ziyadi what you see is all there is. Key lesson, understand the inclination to form quick judgments and decisions without considering the full scope of available information. Chapter 8, How Judgments Happen. Kahneman delves into the details of how judgments are formed, including heuristics like anchoring, availability, and representativeness. He emphasizes the role of System 1 in these processes. Key lesson, 
Be aware of the various heuristics and biases that influence your judgments and work to counteract them when necessary. Chapter 9, Answering an Easier Question This chapter introduces the idea that when faced with a difficult question, people often substitute it with an easier one that they can answer. Key Lesson Understand how your mind may simplify complex questions by substituting them with simpler ones. When making important decisions, ensure you address the actual question at hand. Chapter 10, Overconfidence. Kahneman explores the widespread phenomenon of overconfidence, where people tend to overestimate their own abilities and knowledge. He discusses the planning fallacy and the illusion of understanding. Key lesson, recognize that overconfidence is a common cognitive bias and approach decision-making with greater humility and skepticism. Summary Life Lessons Acknowledge Cognitive Biases One of the key takeaways from the book is the importance of acknowledging and understanding cognitive biases. By recognizing these biases, individuals can work to counteract them and make more rational decisions. Engage System 2 Thinking When facing complex decisions, it's essential to consciously engage System 2 Thinking. This involves taking your time, considering various options, and being open to critical analysis. Question Intuition Kahneman's work emphasizes the need to question intuitive judgments, especially when dealing with important decisions. Gut feelings are often influenced by biases and can lead to suboptimal choices. Use prospect theory, understanding how people perceive gains and losses differently can be valuable in various contexts, from investment decisions to public policy design. Continuous learning, the book underscores the idea that learning about the quirks of human cognition is an ongoing process. Stay curious and be open to refining your decision-making skills. Understanding human fallibility, the book underscores the inherent fallibility of human thinking and decision-making. It teaches us to be more forgiving of our own and others' cognitive errors, as we're all subject to biases and limitations in our thinking processes. Importance of self-awareness, to make better decisions, it's crucial to be aware of the thought processes at play. Recognizing when System 1 thinking might be leading you astray and consciously engaging System 2 thinking is a valuable skill. Embracing uncertainty, Kahneman's work reminds us that the world is often uncertain, and not all problems have clear-cut solutions. Embracing uncertainty and acknowledging what we don't know can lead to more realistic and effective decision-making. Being mindful of biases in relationships, cognitive biases don't just affect individual decision-making, they can also impact relationships and communication. Understanding how biases can create misunderstandings and miscommunication can lead to more effective interpersonal interactions. Improving critical thinking, the book encourages the development of critical thinking skills. It's important to challenge assumptions, question information sources, and seek out diverse perspectives before arriving at conclusions. Enhancing decision-making processes, the book offers strategies for enhancing decision-making processes, such as considering alternative viewpoints, seeking external advice, and making decisions more systematically rather than relying solely on intuition. Managing risk and loss aversion, understanding concepts like loss aversion can help in managing risk, particularly in financial decisions. Being aware of how loss aversion can lead to overly conservative choices can help individuals make more balanced investment decisions. Rethinking education, educators can learn from the book's insights to adapt teaching methods and curricula to encourage critical thinking and reduce the influence of cognitive biases in learning. The power of reflection, the book emphasizes the value of reflection. Take time to think through important decisions, as well as to review past decisions and their outcomes. This reflective process can improve future decision-making.